work so, so good. Honestly, this thing worked better than I ever could have imagined. I'm sure you guys have all seen the clips by now with the Ravagers dropping out in perfect like formation and everything. Let me show you some of the little clips I recorded from my camera account while they were uh, experiencing the prank. So I hung out down here a bit waiting for them to read the book because that's what obviously triggers all the Ravagers to fall from the sky. I hung out here until I was fairly certain that they had gone to the third page at which point I flew up to the top here so I can get a look inside the eyeball and now I wanted to see I wanted to see it trigger I wanted to know that it was going to happen and of course when it did go off I was it was like this moment of relief the bang happened they started to slowly fall down and I am amazed that they stuck in that pattern like that I thought for sure they were gonna spray but they're in these tight quad formation there just floating down and then when they hit Boah, happiness everywhere. And of course it goes without saying that there were a few incidents during the cleanup. But of course, being the professional Minecrafters that they are, they eventually got the situation under control, but I felt like I needed to fly by for an important message. Chop it, big guys! Chop it, big guys! Overall, I think the prank turned out to be one of my best ones ever. What is that? What is that? <laughs> is that supposed to be... Mm, looking pretty sus there, little 3 by 4 man, wouldn't you say? I have no idea who put this here or what it's for, but I approve. So I've heard there's a new... Oh, is that it right there? There's a new copper shop in town. I haven't been... I haven't been keeping up on Azuma, but apparently he's got a decent copper farm. If he can do this, I'd say so. I have to go see what he's got going on. Ooh, what? Just, uh, just creepers hanging out in the back of the truck. Are they, are they named? They're just natural spawns, I guess, because it's all tinted and <laughs> nice. All right. Uh, cheapest copper on the server, two premium derp coin for burr, 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 derp coin. Okay. Where, where do you, where is it? Is it in here? Holy cow. All right. Yeah. I mean, he's stocked. He's stocked. You know, I'm not going to lie. That makes me a little sad because, you know, I love my copper farm up here, but ever so, so we, we built it originally. Right. And then it was like, oh, that was no good. We tore it down and we built we built this one here, which is like eight times faster than the original one. I'm not going to lie. Ever since I built this one, I've been kind of wanting to just go insane. Ah, I, I don't have it in me now. Oh, hi there, friends. How's it going? I think next time, next, next time I make a farm next, next season, whenever that is, we're going to make a copper farm. That's going to make this thing look like some kind of crude prototype. I just can't wait. I want to make the biggest copper farm ever that's a promise it's coming check it out i take a few days off and b dubs has got like all this magic happening he's got like this little pirate cove thing going on here which i think he's got the portal in here is, is he gonna put it here where's the portal at okay it's supposed to go right there apparently on the bottom why doesn't he have it lit is he i gotta talk to him and apparently Matt, i'm all over the place i'm all over the place apparently we have presents oh i just heard something did I just hear like a ha? Ah. Oh, is, it, <laughs> is my present a zombie? Oh, is this going to blow up in my face? What is this? Hold on. Hello? Ooh, blue goo. Oh, oh, everything's fine. Just a little bit of fiery flesh. Okay. What? Fires, go out now. Okay, I'm not so sure I like that little message there, whatever. All right, on behalf of Bodum Incorporated, we accept your gift. You win. Whoa. A diamond block. All right, hold on. How is this trapped? I can't see any way. Gravel? No, we're good. Is this legit? I think we're legit. I, th I think we got an actual gift from Bodum. Well, all right. I guess that ends the prank war. That was quite the gesture. I, I mean, I guess that's what happens after you get 60 Ravagers dropped down your head. But for real though, for real, we need to have an actual chat here. We need, to, we need to have a serious chat about the elephant in the room. I'm talking about this 
elephant in the room. I mean, would you just look at this thing? Look at that. The, the moon is blotting out the entire world. This can't be good. <laughs> this can't be good for anyone. There is no denying that this is absolutely reaching bonkers levels now. I mean, I don't, I don't know what this means. I don't know what it, what's happening with the thing, with the, with the moon and the largeness. But we got to figure this out. I mean, look at this. This is ridiculous. I don't know why my voice is this high, but I'm getting a little bit frightened. This is clearly more than just a cute observation at this point. This is a little unsettling. I'm beginning to become a little bit alarmed. So I think I'm going to make this my task. I'm going to try and figure out what is happening with this moon. Why the moon is getting so much bigger. What's happening? Is there an actual like lunarification process going on here? We need to perform some science, real science. For science experiment number one, we are going to use our trusty spyglass, okay? This thing is the tried and true scientific instrument that we have here. Everything's fine, everything's fine. Everything's fine, just a little rumble there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna triangulate lunar, lunar, distance uh cross uh matrified with the inverse yeah we're gonna need the uh the triple hypotenuse uh with the uh the dot product of the inverse proportional uh linear aptitude and of course once we've met all of our triangulation parameters and have gathered our empirical evidence we will yeah this thing is utterly useless for the next experiment we're gonna go with a little old school redstone that i come up with uh, i call this the lunar bigification data harvester you see this thing works in direct conjunction with the lunar phases once you activate the process the uh, clockificator begins the uh, diamond oscillation uh, integrity uh, manifestation with the redstone uh, flip floppinator and the uh, B-Dub's original clock all uh, combobulating at the same process and we just sit back and let the data roll in. So now all I gotta do is analyze all the data we've collected from our absolutely perfect device that could never provide faulty data in the first place and draw our conclusions. Yep, yep, yep. Apparently one of the conclusions is that Fifi has an upside down llama on top of his head. What is going on here? <laughs> This can only be one person. Yep, shop at Bad Lob and Co. in Bodum BTM today. How many times is Pearl gonna come in here and mess with Fifi? Mm, looks like I'm not the only one. <laughs> I missed this. Beat has got a moon llama as well. What the? Uh. Okay, after extensive analysis and running the data through all sorts of advanced AI heuristics, we have our conclusion, our first data set here, lunar data set one, the conclusion is... Apparently my advanced scientific data collection methods are, shall we say, insufficient. We're gonna need to build a whole new facility. Something, something top tier. I'm talking like state-of-the-art equipment here. Something with a little bit more than spy glasses. A place with high-tech equipment, training facilities, and everything we could possibly need to study this thing behind us. Hi, zombie. Luckily, I have just the place for this new high-tech laboratory. We have built ourselves an island. A perfect island for the massive space administration headquarters.
Welcome to HASA, the Hermitcraft Aeronautics Space Administration. This brand new high-tech facility will be the home of all of our future lunar research and all testing that we need to do to figure out what is happening with our moon. And it seems like we have our first volunteer wannabe astronaut here. Hi. Hi, Mr. Astronaut. You want to learn how to fly? There you go. But on a more serious note, this space administration, uh, I gotta say, turned out pretty good, I think. We've got our main front door here with big sliding bay doors and everything. It's not it's not much on the inside, you know, needs a little bit of work on the inside still, it's okay. But on the side, we've got our two massive hangar doors allowing access to whatever we need on the inside. Okay, so we've got our facility here, but it's bare bones, right? It's bare bones. We need to add some test testing apparati apparatus -sis. we need to add some stuff some stuff that's gonna help us watch the moon and measure it and track it and gather data on it so to me the obvious first choice is a telescope not some little wimpy spyglass but an ultra powerful telescope right here on the roof where i can observe the moon and see what's going on moon is ridiculous <laughs> There we go, there we go. Our super deluxe telescope has been installed. Super ocular, 9,000 power plus plus with a little nice fancy walkway to get up. All right, all right, all right. I can hear you already. Gee, Tango, that's a pretty fancy telescope you got there. Listen, it's all we could afford in the budget, all right? Hassa is government funded. The politicians are making cuts and everything. This is all we can afford right now. But night is falling and the Gigantor moon is approaching. Now, again, this is not the deluxe model, so we only get to look at the moon at a very precise window. We gotta wait for it to get just a bit higher. Looks to be just about right and we just peer into our little eye hole. Now, sometimes it's tricky. You gotta be very sensitive here. You gotta be very careful. You gotta look around until we find the moon. There's all this extra debris around everything and it's just some, sometimes it's a pain. Sometimes you see little green globs. Sometimes you see that. But eventually, we should be able... There it is. There it is. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me get a little bit of focus here. There we go. And do a little zoom. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now, now we can see our moon in all its glory. High detail. Now what I need to do is start tracking its movement and its patterns and see if we can maybe discern what is going on. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have collected all the necessary data. This new HASA telescope is putting us light years ahead of the competition. Well, with all of our data in hand, there is clearly only one thing left to do, and that is to analyze it and reach our conclusion. But luckily, we have just recently installed the HASA supercomputer here in the facilities. So let's check it out and see what it is capable of insert data okay got it we will insert all of our data that we have acquired into the hassa supercomputer we turn it on we need to solve this problem we turn on the computer Ooh, it does sound super very nice very nice we wait processing oh complete okay the computer is off now we've acquired Lunar test A113. Here we go. Very good. Okay, okay. Some information about the uh, inclination of the moon 5.41 degrees, of course, of course. And yes, some or normal orbital distances around our planet 363,000 kilometers at its minimum, 405 at its maximum. Of course, of course, basic science. And then, ah, it looks like, okay, some orbital time frames, 27.21 days normal for the moon to traverse around our planet. Lunar orbital results. Here we go. Current distance to the planet. 
246,000 kilometers. Cur current orbit time, 21.3 days. Conclusion, the moon's orbital distance is shrinking by 5,176 kilometers per day? What? Oh, this is not good. Not good, not good. This is a whole bag of not good with an extra side of extra spicy not good. Beefy is most definitely not pleased with a moon that is descending onto our planet. Well, to say the least, we need a plan. This is major, major information. Thank you to the Hassa supercomputer, by the way. But we need a plan. I'm going to go see if any other hermits are on or know what's going on and uh, what their plans are right now. Cub! This place is huge. How am I going to find him? Cub! There he is. There he is. Cub! Cub, 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 cub! <laughs> hey, how's Hi. it going, man? How's it going? Good. I have the hiccups for some reason. I don't know why. I'm very excited right now. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Yep. Yeah. What's up? You've obviously noticed the moon, right? You're aware of the, yeah. the nonsense or whatever it is that's going on? What's... I mean, it looks like a mountain range is currently coming up behind this hill here. Right. So, yeah, at, I've, I mean, I've noticed. The, the, the timing was great. Look at that. I mean, I just wanted to know, like, what's, what's your thoughts on this? This is ridiculous. I mean, I've, I, I'll be honest with you. Like, at first, I thought it was a conspiracy by Big Cheese to bring the moon, which is obviously made of cheese to uh -huh. us. Obviously, obviously. Okay, good. That's very scientific of you. That, that's what I was thinking at first, but now, I mean, the size is just ginormous. It's like, just gigantic, gigantic, yeah. it's You yeah, cannot yeah, yeah. notice it now. I don't know. All I know is I've opened up, I've recently opened up the uh, HASA Space Administration facilities with high-tech equipment and everything, and I've been running some Ooh. tests. I've been running some okay. tests. My current theory is that the the moon, and I don't know why yet, but the moon has been dislodged from its orbit, and... It's not good. It's not good, my friend. It's spiraling slowly toward planet Hermit. And I don't know. I don't know what we're doing. I don't know. It's just getting closer and closer. And the moon's orbit is descending upon us right now. So what's your plans? Uh, that's bad. Yeah, that's that's not good. It's all sorts um, of bad. I think uh, I think I'm just gonna like hide from it, you know. Hide. Just, like, oh, you know, all right. Just, just just peace out, you know. Oh. Just get straight up. <laughs> That'll then, work, cause yeah, you know? I mean a three block hole that'll stop a moon. Yeah, may maybe you make it out of like rocks or something. Oh <laughs> yeah, so, okay. <laughs> so, yeah, try like because if, if that's the case, like if it, if it were, oh yeah, if it, my if gosh. it's coming toward us, it could be bad news for Is, us. I mean, if know? it gets any closer, it's gonna cover the whole. Sky! Do you know what anyone else is? Is anyone else panicking yet? Because I am. I mean, some people are in total denial. That's that's a common strategy. Just total denial. Like, it's not happening. Uh -huh, uh, if you uh -huh. can't see it, it's not happening type of thing. Uh, I mean, some people blame Doc. I mean, Doc's been, yeah, thrown, been thrown under yeah. the bus a couple times. I, 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 mean, wouldn't, I wouldn't put it past them. Doc has done some crazy shenanigans this season with lightning and spawn control and everything. So, to, for him to make the moon grow, uh, he'd probably find a way to do it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I, I mean, for the earthquakes, I oh mean, honestly, I think I might be causing those. I mean, there's just a giant hole in the ground nearby here. You might oh, have noticed with these spikes and stuff. You so. think you think you dug a little too deep or something? I might have hit a fault line. I'm, I'm not oh. sure, but yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's possible. It's possible. Uh, okay. Well, I'm going to try and visit other people. I mean, no one's on now, but it's a big moon. It's a big moon. It's huge. <laughs> it's huge. It's All scary. Right, well. We'll see what happens. Well, there you have it. Cub's plan, apparently, with all of his brilliance and all those brains he's packing, his plan is to hide from this thing. Hide. Hiding is not an option. We have to prevent this. We have to figure out why the moon's orbital path has changed. And more importantly, can't we fix it?